Okay, for number six, the fifth root polynomial, we'll go to the whiteboard. We'll discuss using this card rule of signs and also something about the general shape of the curve. Uh, nothing too detailed. Let's go to the whiteboard. And the whiteboard, give me one second and do this. And push this on the side. I'll write this down. F of x equals x to the fifth power minus 11x4 plus 33x cubed plus 11x squared <coughs> minus 154x minus 120. Okay, so, I mean, looking at this thing over here, I, I, it's a fifth-degree polynomial. Uh, leading coefficients is uh, 1. So it's going to look, I mean, generally speaking, again, I, it's just a rough idea. I'm just going to say roughly something like this over here. This is rough, right? I'm not saying it's a right curve. I'm just saying it's a rough idea what a fifth-degree polynomial might look like. I mean, it's got maybe more bumps in it. That's not my issue about this. Let me get my eraser out, erase this over here. And I kind of start looking at it. And uh, by looking at it, I'm going to be looking at the sign changes. So it's positive, whoops, sorry about that, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus. Let's see if I did that right. Plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, minus. Yeah, I did okay. One change here, one change here, one change there. All right, so how many changes do I got? I got, I got three. So S equals three. All right, so let's look at that for a moment and write down what we need to write down. We need to write down S minus P. <coughs> S is three minus P. And remember, this must equal a uh, non-negative um, even integer. So P could be 1, right? P could be 1, or P could be 3, right? P could be 1, or P could be 3. All right, let's rotate it. Let's see what happens when we rotate it. And by rotating it, you know, kind of looking at it, let's take a look. F minus X, we're rotating now. What would you get? You get minus x5, minus 11x4, minus 33x, plus 11x squared, plus 154x, minus 120. Let me write this down now. So minus, 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 plus, plus, minus. Well, there's one change here. There's one change here. So s equals 2. Let me remind you what we did. We rotate the curve about the y-axis, so the negative roots become positive roots. So what we do over here, s minus p. Well, it's going to be 2 minus p. And remember, it's got to be a non-negative even integer. So what could p be? p could be 2, or p could be 0. All right? So <coughs> I kind of want to look at it. I know it's tough. I'm not saying otherwise. But um, I want to look at f of x now. And just to remind you what f of x is, f of x is uh, x5 minus 11x4 plus 33x cubed plus 11x squared minus 154x minus 120. And just... You know, getting a general idea of what happens over here. Just a general idea. So I know there's a y-intercept of minus 120. And I'll just put that right over here. Again, I'm not counting to it. I'm just saying generally it's down there somewhere. And I know it's going to do something like this and something like this. All right? Now, the problem about this over here is kind of looking at it I think you probably know that the one and three, like if it's one, it would just do something like this. If it were three, it would do something like this. Maybe go back down, hit it, come back up. You get the idea. So this would be one, two, three. Uh, reasonable possibilities. 
Now again, I'm looking at the negative roots now, and these are the negative ones over here. So it could be zero, which means it never goes back up and goes through the x-axis. It just continues maybe some path like this over here. But you know, it could be two, which means what? Goes back up, goes through it, comes back down. So it could be two, all right? Now granted, they're not asking me to do that. What they're asking me is, what, what are the possibilities? And let's write these down now, all right? Let me get my eraser out. And again, I could go through a bunch of sign analysis to try to figure this out, but they're not asking for that level of detail. You know what, I think my um, computer just went to sleep. Ah, it doesn't matter. So let's write this down. And what do we have over here? Uh, what do we have? So let's write this down. It could be one positive. Let's see, one positive and four complex. I took care of this. One positive. Two negative and two complex. All right, I took care of uh, the one completely. Let's talk about three positive. And then you could have, um, let's see, two complex. Three positive, and two negative. And that's it, those four cases there. Certainly, I'll go to the picture. Let me do that now and see what the case is. It's one of those four cases, by the way. All right? Again, we, haven't, we could do more analysis to figure out which case it is. But maybe technology. Let's look at the picture. And again, I'm going to go to the picture. And this is number picture over here. And I want to point out what I'm seeing over here. I'm seeing, and let me write this down for you too. One positive real. Let me blow this thing up over here. I'm actually seeing two negative real. What else is there? Well, there's five, so I have two more to go, two complex. That's the only case we could be with the picture, all right? Thank you.